Have you ever been stung by a jellyfish? You might have heard that the best way to relieve the pain and reduce the swelling is to urinate on the affected area. You might have even tried it yourself. Lovely. But if you turn to the internet, you'll find a whole range of different remedies, from ice to heat, shaving foam to alcohol. Which is the best approach? Well, first, it helps to understand a bit about why jelly stings hurt so much. Jellyfish aren't actually fish, but part of a group of invertebrates called cnidarians. They propel themselves through the ocean by pulsing their domes, while trailing tentacles are used to capture their prey and defend from predators. Each of the tentacles is covered in thousands of special stinging cells called cnidocytes, and these contain a fiendishly effective mechanism for injecting poison into any passing creature. It's called a nematocyst, and it consists of a tiny harpoon-like thread wrapped within a capsule like a coiled spring, ready to be launched into anything it can reach. When something brushes up against the nematocyst, the pressure in the capsules increases up to 14,000 kilopascals. That's 140 times the atmospheric pressure we experience at sea level, and the harpoon is flung out within just a hundredth of a second. The tiny spring-loaded needles pierce the skin of the jelly's unsuspecting victim and inject a potent venom, which is the real cause of the sting's pain. And that's because the venom contains a type of protein called a porin, which is able to literally punch holes in any cell membranes it encounters. Too much porin can destroy red blood cells and even lead to heart failure. The more venom you're injected with and the more potent the blend of porins and other toxins, the worse the pain will be. And the nematocysts are an automatic booby trap, so you can still be harmed by dead jellies or even just their disembodied tentacles. Stings from box jellies are among the very worst, and with up to 800,000 nematocysts per square centimetre, they can even be fatal. It's thought that up to 100 people die every year from box jelly stings alone. So. What can you do to escape the pain and reduce the risk? Well, first of all, you can leave your bikini bottoms on. While urine contains a compound called urea, which can be helpful in unsticking any stray tentacles from the skin, it's actually far too dilute in our wee to have any effect. Plus, the salts in our pee can also trigger any remaining nematocysts to fire, injecting more venom for more pain. Others might suggest pouring alcohol over the sting. But before you crack open a cold one, recent research has found that alcohol can also set off those nematocysts, worsening any sting rather than relieving the pain. More creative remedies involve shaving foam or a mixture of baking soda and water, but the same research found that these also have pretty much no effect. Washing the area with seawater can spread the nematocysts out, and washing with fresh water will change the salt balance in the cells and trigger the little harpoons. And if you were tempted to put ice over the sharp heat of a jelly sting, you're more likely to increase the damage that the venom can do. Although it might seem like there's nothing that doesn't do more harm than good, there is one reliable remedy, though it's not something you'd usually pack in your beach bag. It's vinegar. While other options are more likely to trigger the nematocysts to release more venom, concentrated vinegar actually does the opposite, inactivating the cells and stopping them doing any more harm. Carefully removing any tentacles with tweezers or gloves is the best way to limit secondary stings, and then applying heat instead of ice will reduce the damage that the venom does inside the body. Of course, if you do get stung by a jellyfish, you really should seek professional medical help as soon as you can, regardless of how effective your hot vinegar is. And one surefire way of not getting hurt by a jellyfish sting is to not get stung at all. Research has found that nylon tights like these are actually a really good barrier to nematocysts. All you have to do is cover every inch of exposed skin and apparently you're safe. I hope this video will save you the embarrassment of needlessly peeing on a stranger, although admittedly this look isn't much less embarrassing. Let us know if you have tried any weird remedies for jellyfish stings in the comments below, and don't forget to check out more great Oceans content over at our sister channel, BBC Earth. Like and subscribe to Earth Unplugged, and I'll see you next time.